Hey everyone, welcome to Inside Wire. Today I have a great video for you on Ubiquiti. I'm going to show you how to set up the Unify guest portal. Now you're probably thinking, isn't this just a normal wireless network for your guests to log into? And you're probably right. However, with Ubiquiti, there are some additional features that allow you to authorize your users. This can be a few different ways from vouchers to Facebook logins or even payments. That's right, you can actually charge someone to use your Wi-Fi at home if you wanted to. However, it's probably something I wouldn't recommend. But for you businesses out there, you can use this to set up a payment system to charge people to use your Wi-Fi. So in this video today, we're actually going to cover how to set up a Wi-Fi network, set up your voucher-based system and your payments, and I'll show you some of the other features that you can do within the guest portal. As always, please subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about Ubiquiti and other great tech. I have some more Ubiquiti items on the way, so I'm really looking forward to getting them setting, set up and showing you all. All the products we are using today are in the description below. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate account. However, great news is that it doesn't cost you a penny more to buy them, so feel free to check them out. If there is anything you want to see me demo in these videos, drop me a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, that's enough of me talking, so let's jump straight in. Let's start by going to the UDM login. So let's go to unify.ui.com. I'm already logged in again, so it's just gonna take me straight through. So we go to UDM Pro. Let's click on the network controller. Screen that. Uh, and once we're in, we can go to the settings. And let's start by looking at the network group. So if you want to create a separate Wi-Fi network group, you're welcome to do so. I'm going to leave this one under the default one at the moment. So what I'm going to do here first is go to Hotspot and click on General. Um, you may see a fewer settings on here initially, but don't worry, they will, they will turn up. So let's go to Enable Hotspot. Um, the authentication mode, you can use no authentication, simple password, the hotspot, which is what we're configuring today, Facebook Wi-Fi and external portal server if you have one in your network. So let's click on hotspot. Uh, initially, when you first log in, you can enable the terms of service. So you can write whatever you like in here. Um, anything specific around using this Wi-Fi, you can put it in there. So I'm just going to say welcome just so you can see that it pops up. Um, we have the welcome text. On here so I can put please see me for a voucher code uh, let's click apply changes there so that's that's the general setup of it then we'll look at the design it's very customizable um, within here so actually one slight thing to note is when you access the UDM controller or the Unify network uh, through the remote access your preview isn't available so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to log straight into it so you can see exactly what the preview looks like. So let's go to networks. I'm just going to go a bit quick here just to run through it. Settings. And then we want to go to hotspot and design. So once we've got to this page, you can see that you have the options to see the screen on the right hand side. Um, you can't see it fully because I'm slightly zoomed in at the moment, but you get the picture of what it is. So you can upload a logo if you want here. So we can click on upload logo. Let's just go to desktop, uh, stick a logo on there and you can see the logo appears on here and you can see how it see how it looks on a desktop, a tablet or even a mobile. You can see how it works and it says, please see me for a voucher code. On the bottom here, you can change the background color, text, links, whatever you want to match the theme of your business um, or whatever you want to do. You can change it up to however, what your personal preference is. Let's click apply. So let's go down to payments. So this is where the depth of Unify's network is of their guest portal. So they range from everything from payments to Facebook to Google, WeChat, Radius, um, you name it. So I've actually set this up previously to use PayPal to accept payments, which is quite cool. Um, so I'll quickly run you through some of the settings down here so you can see some of the features. Um, you can have packages, so the different packages, so you can have max speed, limited speed, and different durations. You can have a free trial. Um, and obviously when you're collecting some of the data, you can have a quick look at what you need to keep required and what you want to keep enabled. 
um, but I won't go too much into this. Um, if you want to see a video on how to set up the PayPal system with Unify, drop me a comment in the section below and I'll see if I can get one put together for you. So after we've done that, like I said, you've got Facebook authorization, you can use that, you can use Google, you can use WeChat, Radius, and the one that we're interested in is vouchers. So we just want to enable this here. So we click enable and then click apply. And that's the voucher base setup. We'll have a quick look at advanced on here. So however long, however long you want the session to expire, um, redirect your URL. So when they're going to a website, if they're redirected to your captive portal, um, so you can actually have that redirected or you can actually have it going to your website. So I'd have it set up going to inside wire, but I just want it at the moment to go to its original URL. You can use a secure portal and HTTPS redirection. Please note the captive network assistant doesn't play too well with OS 10 devices um, and even iPhones. Um, so just keep that one in mind. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, if you install a certificate, you won't have any issues. So if you are going to use HTTPS, uh, redirection and the secure portal, please make sure you install a certificate. Down here, you can override any portal customizations that you might have. Uh, one good thing I think is here, you can add additional languages. So you can have um, all these along here. So if you have, uh, so if you are a hotel, for example, and you want to add in multiple languages, you can do so. And this is where the access control comes in. So you can block all the IPs from joining any other specific network, seeing any other network on your business. Um, whether it would be the 192 range, 172 or even the 10 range. So you, it wouldn't be able to go anywhere. So now that we've set that up, the one thing I haven't shown you yet is actually how to create the vouchers. So we are looking, I've had a look through the new portal and I've not found um, the hotspot manager yet. So I'm still yet to find that. Um, I haven't had a full look through, but I'm gonna show you how to get to it from classic mode at the moment. So we click on classic mode go to control group and if you scroll down a little bit you will actually see hotspot manager down here we can click on that and that will actually load up a new page for us and this is it really so in here within your hotspot manager it will show you the total number of connections new any returning the device types um, the guests so you can see who's joining the last 24 hours for our list view any payments that you've taken. So this is where your payments are set up or however they're connected via social, that's there. And the vouchers themselves. So you can actually create a voucher here. How many vouchers you wanna create is up to you. You can create 100, you can create 10, uh, you can create one. Um, you can have it multi-use, multi-use and limited, it's up to you. So I'm just gonna use a multi-use and limited one. I want it to expire after 24 hours. You can limit the bandwidth for this and we just wanna click save. So that's actually gonna give us a voucher number just here. So I'm gonna take a quick note of this, okay? And you can actually print these out and you can actually get it to print all unused vouchers as well. So if there's some that are used, um, you might not want that to be printed out. At any point, if you want the voucher to be revoked or you don't want that person to use the voucher anymore, you can just click revoke and that will get rid of it. So what we now wanna do is actually go and set up the Wi-Fi network itself. So let's go back to the new settings. Wi-Fi network, we wanna create a new network. Click on advanced. We're gonna call this IW demo guest Wi-Fi. General settings, we want to enable this network. So for the security protocol, you can ha still have a security key if you want, but because we're using a voucher-based system, I'm gonna keep this open. We'll go click apply guest policies. We wanna apply them. If you wanna hide the SSID, uh, just all the general settings, you can use a VLAN for this specific network. So generally, if I was to set this up in production, I would use a VLAN and make sure it's fully locked off from the rest of the networks and then we just click done. So what I'm actually gonna try and do now is join the guest network um, from this machine I'm on so you can see how it would look and how it works. You can't actually see my other screen but I'm joining the network now. So just to show you what's popped up on my other screen, you can see here we have, please see me for a voucher code. So actually I'm gonna grab my voucher code now and I'm gonna pop it in here. I've accept the terms of use. So if you click on terms of use, it actually comes up on here and says, welcome. 
Um, so you can customize that as I showed you earlier. So let's paste that voucher code in, accept, and then click connect. And then that takes us to um, the internet basically. So I can go to our favorite search engine or your favorite search engine, whichever one you want to go to, and we can go back to it. So let's just minimize this a second. So I'm just going to take you back to the guest um, hotspot manager portal, sorry, and I'm going to show you. So it's showing it's used to now um, that I'm connected to it. There's no payments and you can see the guest that's joined to the network. So you can actually from here extend or disconnect if you want. Um, if you feel that they are maybe taking too much download or upload, you can actually disconnect that. And then you have some analytics so you can see whether they're new or returning and you can see the device that they're using. Overall, Ubiquiti have put a lot of thought into this and it is a very nice addition to the Unify network controller. Considering this is all built in, I think it is really good. The amount of different settings and configurations allows this to work with many different scenarios. I really hope you found this video informative and useful. If so, give me a thumbs up below and please subscribe to my channel. As I said at the start, I do have some more goodies coming on the way, so stay tuned and you will see some more Ubiquity content. This is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.